Welcome to Unknown Theory, in today's video we'll talk about a fan base surrounding the classic old cartoon Caillou. I like exploring, I'm Caillou. Disclaimer, we can't confirm any of the theories or stories we talk about in our channel, all stated information is purely for entertainment purposes. First aired in 1997, and ran for 13 years and 5 seasons until 2010 when the last episode came out. As summarized by the show's description, Caillou is a show about a four-year-old who lives with his mother, father and sister in a blue house on Pine Street. Caillou has invisible friends, learns how to play sports and explores nature. Friendly and curious, Caillou discovers as much fun and wonder as any kid can imagine. Even though this seems like a harmless show, many parents have reported not to like the show for their kids. Saying that Caillou is a mean little kid with no education and his parents never discipline him. On Google it has a 2.7 out of 5 star rating, with most of the reviews being negative. But what we will tell you next might forever change the perspective you had or have about the show. After looking into the show and a lot of theories, we came to the conclusion that Caillou is actually dead on the show. This theory comes from the big question of why is Caillou bald? People have wondered about this ever since Caillou was a thing. And why are his parents always so calm? Why is he so whiny? Either his parents are obsessed with his looks, or secretly abuse him by shaving his head. The theory says that Caillou is actually a toddler with cancer, it's impossible for a child to become bald naturally without first going through puberty. Caillou is bald because his parents put him through several different treatments to treat his terminal disease. Notice that his little sister Rosie has red hair. Now look at Boris and Doris, both brunette. That's because Rosie is adopted. Caillou's parents feared that they would pass on the virus and couldn't bear the thought of possibly losing another child, so they sought out adoption. They treat Rosie like one of their own, they're just happy to have a healthy little girl. But the theory does not end there. One day, Caillou's sister, Rosie, was 11 years old, staying over with grandma as her parents went out. She sat down in her grandmother's lap, and asked her who that boy was in the picture on her dresser. She had vague memories of this boy, but she was only two at the time, and didn't quite remember. I think you're old enough, grandma says, just barely fighting back the tears. As you can recall, the show always starts with the grandma narrating the story, and it is also in a picture book style, but remember that throughout the whole show, there is a white foggy frame, as if we were remembering something. The entire show is a flashback, narrated by grandma telling the stories of her now deceased grandson. Notice each episode is surrounded by the cloud typically used for flashbacks in other shows. Notice the melancholy voice used by the narrator throughout the show, even in joyful circumstances. Notice Caillou is almost never disciplined. His parents just can't stand saying no to their child because they know he might die any day. And to make this theory even more crazy, the original artist of Caillou, who was also the character designer, had a child who also died of cancer and designed the family as a tribute to him. When asked about this theory, the authors mentioned that the true reason Caillou is bald is because he originally was an infant in the books, and they wanted to keep him recognizable to children, but again, this might be used as a cover to avoid criticism or ruin any kid's childhood. Comment what you think about this, and don't forget to like and subscribe.